today we are going to read from uh, we are going to discuss about how krishna had delivered uh, putna сегодня мы поговорим о том как кришна освободил путана and uh, before we could discuss about it и прежде чем мы об этом поговорим we need to know what are we going to get from it what are we going to get what result are we going to get мы сначала должны понять а что мы от этого получим so shukdev goswami at the end of the chapter he says и поэтому в конце главы шукадева гасами говорит я этот путана мокшам can all of you have gita base right in your phones у вас gita base есть which verse is it 10.6.44 10 644 ृष्णस्यारभकमुतुयाभतेतुतनाम कृष्णस्याभकमुत शुनुयाश्रद्धया मो गोविंद लभते रति यूतना मोक्ष कृष्णस्याभकमुत शुनुया श्रद्धया मो गोविंद लभते रति माता जी कैन रीड द Любой, кто с верой и преданностью слушает о том, как Кришна, верховная личность Бога, убил Путана, иначе говоря, любой, кто внимает повествованием о детских играх Кришны, непременно обретет привязанность к Гавинде, высшей изначальной личности. Попыт. Комментарий Шилы Прахупады. То, что грозная ведьма попыталась убить ребенка, но в результате сама была убита, конечно же, удивительно. Вот почему в этом стихе употреблено слово «адпутам», которое означает «высшей степени удивительное». Кришна оставил после себя множество удивительных рассказов. Просто читая эти рассказы, собранные в книге Кришна, человек освобождается из материального мира и постепенно обретает привязанность к Гавиде, Ади Пуруши и Кремости. Okay. So и в этом стихе Шукадева Гасами он дает нам благословение. And he is giving that one who hears with uh, faith and with with faith and devotion the past times of Putana getting delivered. И он говорит, что тот, кто с верой и преданностью слушает эту лилу о жизни Путани, they will get a blessings from me that Шукадева Гасами is saying that they will their mind will be fixed in Lord Govinda. И тогда такой человек получает благословение от Шукадева Гасами, что ум этого человека будет сосредоточен на Гавинде. So <coughs> this past times is as follows. It is a game like that. When <coughs> when Krishna was born to to Nanda Maharaj. When Krishna was born to Nanda Maharaj. <coughs> lot of uh, he was already wealthy, but when Krishna was born, his opulence increased so many thousands of times. А когда Кришна родился, Нанда Махарадж был уже богатым человеком, но после рождения Кришны его богатство увеличилось во много-много раз. And because of that, <coughs> he started, he was a bit worried. Из-за этого он немножко волновался. Worried of Kamsa. Он не стал бояться Камсы. Because Kamsa had his uh, agents to find out what's going on where. Потому что у Камсы были свои шпионы, которые следили за тем, что происходит. And he was worried that if <coughs> Kamsa found out why has there is a sudden increase in in the uh, wealth of of uh, Nanda Baba, then he will be in difficulty. Nanda Baba will be in difficulty. И он подумал, что если Камса узнает о том, что богатство Нанды Махараджи внезапно увеличилось, то он попадет в беду. And they will try to find out that Lord Vishnu has taken birth. И тогда Камса может понять, что там здесь родился Господь Вишну. Or he will try to 
uh, find a connection between Vasudev and Nanda Baba, and then in that regard he will try to kill uh, kill Krishna. Или он поймет о том, что есть связь между Васудева и Нандой Махараджа и попытается убить Кришну. So Nanda, Nanda Baba was thinking, for what reason will Kamsa or his men come to my place? И Нанда просто он размышлял о том, что по какой причине Камса или его люди могут прийти сюда. One is tax for collecting taxes. А первая причина они могут прийти за сбором налогов. So let me go and pay taxes for two years before itself. И поэтому он решил, что можно пойти и заплатить налоги за два года вперед. So there will, there will be, so there will be no need for Kamsa to come to our place. И поэтому не будет никакой причины, чтобы сам Камса сюда приходил. So they had a small meeting like we were having, we are having right now. И вот у них было небольшое собрание, как у нас сейчас. So they had a small meeting. They were simple cowherd, cowherd men like all of you. Они были простые люди, пастухи, так же как и вы. And they were discussing among themselves. И они вот между собой эти дела обсуждали. That let us go to the government office and pay the tax. Давайте пойдем, ну, в саму как бы столицу, там заплатим все налоги. And they all agreed. Они все на этом сошлись. So Nanda Baba decided that they will. Take he will take few few of his men with him four five men with him, and he will go to Mathura. И Нанда решил, что он с собой возьмет четыре пять человек и пойдет в Мадхуру. And he appointed a few others who were who were supposed to stay there in in charge of the whole of Gokul. И нескольких других, которые остались в этом месте, он назначил как бы старшими в Гакуле. And Nanda Baba instructed them that if there is an emergency, what has to be done. И он их проинструктировал, что делать в случае какой-то чрезвычайной ситуации. He gave every instruction for the protection of the the people staying there in Gokul. И он дал все наставления, чтобы люди, которые остались в Гакуле, были в безопасности. And Nanda Baba he started for Mathura. И Nanda Baba отправился в Мадхуру. He boarded every he boarded all the required stuff in the bullock carts and they started. Они все нагрузили в телеги все необходимые вещи и поехали. So Nanda Baba, he he came to Mathura and he paid the taxes. Nanda Baba приехал в Мадхуру, заплатил налоги. And after paying the taxes, he was very eager to meet Vasudev. И после этого он очень хотел встретиться с Vasudevой. Because Vasudev was not only his cousin brother, but also he was very very good friend. Он был не только его двоюродным братом, но также и очень хорошим другом. And so. And Nanda Baba knew that Vasudev has gone through lots of difficulties. Nanda Baba knows that Vasudev has gone through many difficulties. What were the difficulties Vasudev have gone through? And what kind of difficulties did he go through? His eight, his seven children, six children got killed by Kamsa. Kamsa killed his six children. Can you imagine somebody's six children getting killed? Just imagine that someone killed his six children. And and also he uh, he 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 at the beginning of the marriage between Vasudev and Devaki, Kamsa made an attempt to kill Devaki. И даже вот при самом начале как бы брака на свадьбе Vasudev и Devaki Kamsa хотел убить Devaki. And above all, the most of the time they spent was in jail. И кроме того, большую часть времени они провели в тюрьме. Imagine these are Krishna's father and mother, and this is their life. Вот представляете, это отец и мать Кришны. Вот как они жили. <coughs> and uh, so when <coughs> Nanda Baba was very very eager to meet Vasudev. And uh, Vasudev was also uh, very very eager to meet Nanda Baba. Why? Because he has he has given his son to Nanda Baba. Now there is a mystery behind the birth of Lord Krishna. И за вот этим рождением Кришны, конечно же, есть определенная тайна. Lord Krishna took birth in Mathura. Кришна родился в Матхуре. As a son of Vasudev and Devaki. Как сын Vasudev и Devaki. And he also took birth as a son of Nanda and Yashoda. И он также родился как сын Нанды и Yashoda. Now when Vasudev have you heard of this? Вы слышали об этом? Right? Yes. And when Vasudev went and he went, he took Krishna to Gokul. А Vasudev отнес Кришну в Гакулу. So the son of Vasudev got merged with the son of 
Нанда Бараджи. И таким образом как бы заменил ребенка Нанды Махараджи на своего? So for Nanda Maharaj, it was his own son. То есть для Нанды Махараджи это был его собственный сын. Which he was protecting. Которого он защищал. And for Vasudev also, it was the same son, but for Vasudev had this feeling in his always that was in his mind that my son has gone to Nanda Maharaj. И также у Васудева было это чувство, что это тоже его сын, но он ему пришлось его отдать Нанди Махараджи. Nanda Maharaj, Vasudev was aware of the situation, but Nanda Maharaj was not aware that. Was that Vasudev's son has become my son or has come as my son? Vasudev was not aware of this situation, but Nanda didn't know that he was going to be the son of Vasudev. So Vasudev was very eager to meet to meet Nanda Maharaj and wanted to inquire from him how is Krishna. Vasudev was very eager to meet with Nanda and ask how is Krishna living there. And he wanted to find out that is Nanda Maharaj aware that I have. I went to Gokul and kept my son there. И также он хотел узнать, а Нанда Махараджа догадывается, что это я отнес Кришну в Гоку? Because that was a big secret. Потому что это было большим секретом. Which happened that that night, that the night of birth of Krishna. Которая эта тайна произошла во время рождения Кришны ночью. And he wanted to make sure that if Nanda if Nanda Mama is not aware, then nobody is aware of it. И он хотел удостовериться, что если Нанда не знает об этом секрете, значит никто не знает. Now, Vasudev, he in the dead of the night. И вот в глубокой ночью Васудева. He changed his dress completely. Он полностью переоделся. And he went to meet Nanda Maharaj. И пошел встретиться с Нандой Махараджи. And as soon as Васудева saw Nanda Maharaj. И как только Васудева увидел Нанду. Nanda Maharaj thought that his life has come. Нанда как-то почувствовал, что его жизнь пришла. Because Nanda Maharaj was very and Васудева they are very very good friends. Потому что они были очень хорошими друзьями. And after severe hardships. Uh, Vasudeva and Nanda Baba were Vasudeva was meeting Nanda Maharaj. He what severe hardships he has gone through in under Kamsa. So now he is meeting Nanda Maharaj. И вот после всех этих ужасных испытаний, которые претерпел Vasudeva от Kamsa, они встретились. So Nanda Maharaj would never imagine that Vasudeva will be alive in this situation and now he is alive and I am meeting him again. Nanda даже не не знал, будет ли жив вообще Vasudeva. И вот наконец он его увидел. If some of your friends or family has Gone through severe hardships in his life, and he has he met with an accident or something, and then you meet him again, then it is like uh, it is so such a big happiness that you are meeting him again. It's like a new life. Это то же самое, как кто-нибудь из членов вашей семьи проходил какие-то очень суровые трудности, может быть даже там в аварии какие-то попадал, и вдруг наконец вы увидели живым этого человека. Представляете, как как вы будете счастливы его видеть? So they both both hugged each other very nicely and. Uh, <coughs> They discussed. They welcomed each other, and they discussed about so many. Started discussing about so many things. Они крепко обняли друг друга, поприветствовали, стали беседовать обо многих вещах. So Vasudev was very careful in his dealings. Vasudev, он так как бы осторожно беседовал. Not because he had some doubt in Nanda Maharaj. А не потому что он сомневался в Nanda Maharaj. But he was in Mathura. Но он был в Мадхуре. And Kamsa has his CCTV CCTV camera always on them. А в Матхуре у Камсы было множество видеокамер следящих. She was very very careful. И поэтому он был очень осторожен. With what he is talking also. А в том числе о том, что он говорил. If this wasn't Матхура. Если бы это было не в Матхуре. Васудев Кулья asked immediately, how is my son doing? То Васудев его прямо спросил, а как дела моего сына? But he was in Матхура and so he was asking, how is Baldev? И поэтому, но поскольку они были в Матхуре, Васудев говорил, ну как там Баладев? Because Baldev was very well known that Baldev was the son of. Devaki, Rohini. Because it was all known that Baladev was the son of Rohini. So there was no question that. So he asked very fearlessly, "How is Rohini's son Balram doing?" So he asked very fearlessly, "How is Rohini's son Balram doing?" So he asked very fearlessly, "How is Rohini's son Balram doing?" So he asked very fearlessly, "How is Rohini's son Balram doing?" So he asked very fearlessly, "How is Rohini's son Balram doing?" So he asked very fearlessly, "How is Rohini's son Balram doing?" So he asked very fearlessly, "How is Rohini's son Balram doing?" Но поскольку прямо не мог этого сделать, спрашивал о Баладеве. And if his Baladev is fine, then on its own Krishna will be fine also. И если у Баладева все хорошо, значит и у Кришны все хорошо. So in this way he was making some indirect inquiries. Таким образом он так вот обходными путями задавал вопросы. And after the inquiries were made, Vasudev pleaded to Nanda Maharaj. И потом, когда они все вопросы как бы обсудили, Vasudev взмолился Nanda Maharaj. He said, Nanda Maharaj. Он сказал, Nanda Maharaj. You have paid the tax. Ты заплатил налоги. And you have met me also. Now I request you, please 
leave for Gokul immediately. Теперь, пожалуйста, немедленно уезжаем к Гокулу. Immediately? Why? Почему нам прямо сейчас? Because there are some problems going to occur in Gokul. Потому что в Гокуле произойдет какая-то серьезная неприятность. There will be some disturbances which will happen in Gokul. В Гокуле произойдет что-то плохое. So leave immediately. Поэтому прямо сейчас уезжай. Now Vasudev had been a minister in the in the in the uh, administration of Kamsa. So Kamsa, even though Vasudev uh, <coughs> Vasudev was very much aware of what Kamsa's plan is and what he is planning. So Vasudev also had his spy, you know, keeping a watch on Kamsa's activities. Васудев очень хорошо знал, о чем думает Камса, какие у него планы, и у него даже свои тоже, как бы шпион был, который обо всем разузнавал об этих планах. So he knew that Kamsa is trying to create a disturbance in Gokul. И поэтому он знал, что Камса собирается что-то натворить в Гокуле. And so and here, and then Васудев is asking Nand Maharaj immediately leave for Gokul. Именно поэтому он попросил Nand Maharaj немедленно уехать в Гокул. Normally, when you when you have you don't have uh, in the night. Why will they drive with the bullock cart, right? Обычно, как бы ночью не ездят на на повозках на на быках. But hearing the instructions of Vasudev, they immediately left. Но услышав такое наставление Vasudev, они немедленно поехали обратно. Now here, what was happening in Gokul? А вот что происходило в Гокуле? That <coughs> Kamsa had sent a demon called demon is called as Putana. Kamsa послал туда демоницу по имени Putana. Kamsa had a big meeting, you know. And with all his ministers. And who were the ministers? Agasur, Bakasur, Putna. Hmm? Every all the all the asuras who who you might have heard that Krishna killed them, all were his ministers. So when you have such ministers, you can expect what advice you will get. Но если у вас такие министры, понятно, что они вам посоветуют. So when when God is when when Kamsa tried to kill the daughter which came from us when the daughter which was born to Nanda Maharaj but was brought by Vasudev, he tried to kill her. So she told that you are the person who is going to kill you has already taken birth. И когда Камса пытался убить дочь, которая родилась у девочки, которую там нам домохарач принес, то она ему сказала, что тот, кто убьет тебя, он уже родился. So Kamsa was taking it very lightly. Камса, ну, не не очень серьезно к этому отнесся. And he just expressed it to his ministers. И он рассказал об этом своим министрам. And he told them that, so this is the situation. He was supposed to get born from Devaki, but I was cheated, and he's not. He's born somewhere else. И он ему рассказал, что я предполагал, что этот человек родился у девочки, а он где-то еще в другом месте родился. Immediately the minister said, "Let us kill him." И министры сразу же сказали, "Давайте его убьем." The council said, "How to find out?" А Кам сказал, "Как мы его найдем?" Let us kill all the children. Давайте убьем всех детей. Which are born in which are born in Gokul or which are born in Rajmandal. Let us kill all of them. Давайте убьем всех, кто родился в Рамжамандале. And then Kamsa said, "But who will do this? Who will do this task?" Ah, Kamsa said, "No, who should do it for me?" And Putna, on her own, she came ahead. And Putna sama went forward. That I am an expert at this. She said, "I am a master at this job." I am the expert at killing children. I am a professional at killing children. I am the expert at it. I am the best at this job. I will do it. I will do it. And Kamsa appointed her. Okay, do it. And Kamsa, he was like, "Nazachil, da, da, why do it?" So Putna. <coughs> She was not. She was not very beautiful, you know. She was not beautiful. Ah, but on some level, she was not beautiful. She was a demon. She was a demon. So she was a demon, and but she she said to herself that if she goes in 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 her original her in original form, then everybody in the Gokul will get disturbed, and they will hide their kids. И она подумала, что если она придет к Гакулу в своем изначальном виде, то все испугаются и спрячут своих детей. So she transformed herself in a very, very beautiful woman. И она превратилась в очень-очень красивую женщину. And she took a lotus in her hand. Она взяла в руку лотос. And and entered Гакул. И вошла в Гакул. As soon as the people of Гакул they saw her, they were bewildered. И как только все люди ее увидели, они просто были ошеломлены. 
all the ladies when they saw Putna, they said, oh my God, who is she? И все женщины, которые увидели, подумали, да кто же она такая? And you know, ladies, they start discussing as, and they start immediately come to start giving their conclusions. И женщины сразу же стали это обсуждать, какие-то догадки выдвигать. So some of them said, I know who is she. Некоторые сказали, ой, мы знаем, кто она. She is the wife of Lord Shiva, Parvati. Это Парвати, жена Господа Шивы. Then some of them said, no, 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 she is uh, Lakshmi herself. Другие сказали, нет, она Лакшми. Look, there is a lotus in her hand. Вот посмотрите, у нее лотос в руке. And then some of them said, no, 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 she looks like and some demigoddess. Другие сказали, нет, нет, это какая-то полубогиня. And then someone said, if she is Lakshmi, what she is doing here? А кто-то сказал, что хорошо, если она Лакшми, что она здесь делает? Oh, she might be looking for Narayan. Ну, может, она Нарайну ищет? In the, in this way, in this way, they were discussing like this. То есть они это все очень обсуждали, бой, бой. And Putna was asking, Putna was uh, was glancing at each. She was going through all the houses where the where the uh, newborns were taken birth. Она обошла все дома, где были новорожденные. And she was planning, okay, I will kill him at 99th, I'll kill him at 98th, I'll kill him at 97th, I'll kill him at 96th. Like this, she was giving them numbers, so I'll start killing them gradually. <coughs> she was not able to kill anybody. Because Krishna was not allowing her to do that. Потому что Кришна бы ей не позволил так сделать. Because all the boys who were born were all Krishna's associates. Потому что все мальчики, которые там родились, это были спутники Кришны. And Krishna didn't want Putna to even glance at them. И Кришна не хотел, чтобы она даже смотрела на них. So she she had her she she came with her intentions, but Krishna's energy was was dragging her towards him. А она пришла туда со своими намерениями, но энергия Кришны как бы притягивала ее к Кришне. And but she was so beautiful that everybody wanted that she should go to Krishna. This is the this is the love of the Brajavasis. They had their own children also, but they all wanted that uh, she should bless Krishna first. В этом заключается любовь к Бриджавасе. У них у всех были свои дети, но они хотели, чтобы эта красавица благословила в первую очередь Кришну. When, when, when the used to go to the forest, Когда пастушки уходили в лес, their mothers used to pack lunches for lunch for them. Матери обычно им заворачивали как бы их обеды. So normally, when you pack some lunch for your kids, it is for them, right? Как правило, если вы готовите обед для своих детей, вы ну, как бы им отдаете. But these lunches which they used to give were for Krishna. No, на самом деле все эти обеды они шли Кришне. And they used to tell their kids feed this to Krishna. И они даже детям говорили вот этим накорми Кришну. And then when he is satisfied, then you eat the prasad. А вот когда он наест, тогда ты сам ешь. So these were the instructions. Вот такие наставления им давали. So here also the Putna is coming and they wanted that Putna should bless Krishna first. И вот здесь то же самое. Они хотели, чтобы Кришна в первую очередь благословила Кришну. And Putna is also saying, who is this? Who is this Nanda Baba's son? Who is this Nanda Baba's son? She said, where, where does he stay? И она тоже, как Путана, тоже интересовалась, а кто же этот сын Нанда Махарадж? And they all showed her the way. There, there, there. И они все показали, вот он там, там. So Putana started. Putana, beautiful Putana, she started walking towards Nanda Baba's palace. И эта прекрасная Путана, она пошла во дворец Нанды Махараджа. And she pretended, she pretended to be to to be having so much motherly love that oh sir, my Krish, oh my Lala, oh my sweetheart, oh my baby. И она притворяла, что у нее такая сильная материнская любовь, и она так вот говорила, ой мой мой Лала, мой маленький, мой хорошенький. I have come here to feed you milk. Я пришла, чтобы накормить тебя молоком. So Saying this, she entered the house of Nanda Maharaj. Вот с такими словами она входила во дворец. The inner, the inner rooms of Nanda Maharaj. В покое Нанды Махараджа. And there, there Rohini and Yashoda both were standing. И там стояли обе и Ишода и Рахини. And they were taking care of Krishna. Они там нянчили Кришну. And there Putana enters. И там заходит Путана. And even Yashoda and Rohini were they were bewildered. И даже Рахини и Ишода, они как бы не поняли, что происходит. Seeing this beautiful Putna. Они увидели эту красивую женщину. And Krishna, she, Krishna closed his eyes. 
Krishna didn't. When Putana came in the inner room, immediately Krishna closed her eyes. The so many acharyas they have written commentaries on why did Krishna close the eyes. Some of them say that Putana is avidya. Некоторые пишут, что потому что путана это авидия. Авидия means darkness. А авидия это темнота. And it cannot stand in front of Krishna. И она не может стоять перед Кришной. Jaha Surya Sam Vaha Nahi Andakar. Wherever Krishna is, there is no darkness. Там где Кришна, там нет темноты. So if Putana comes in front of Krishna, she will be destroyed immediately. И если бы путана стала прямо перед Кришной, она была просто уничтожена. So how will the pastime take place? Итак, как произошла эта игра? That's why Krishna closed his eyes. And also Krishna was thinking. Также Кришна думал. Some of the acharyas are right. Об этом пишут некоторые ачари. That Krishna was thinking that in the in the during the past times of Lord Ram, I killed the first the demon in the form of a woman. Here also I have to kill Putana. И также для себя Кришна думал, что выиграв Господа Раму, я первый также убил демона в форме женщины. И здесь опять тоже демоница. So then Krishna was also thinking that that she okay let's go ahead there's so many commentaries. Ой там так много комментариев давайте лучше продолжим. So then she was expressing her motherly love in such a way. И она настолько вот ее переполняла как будто бы материнская любовь. She was as if expressing that she is the real mother. And she was saying to Rohan, Rohini and Yashoda, that what care are you taking of my son? And Rohini and Yashoda were talking to themselves. And they were looking at such an amazement. And they are saying, are we the mother of Krishna or she is the mother of Krishna? Such an imitation she was doing it. And she then, just like a person in the dead of a night, somebody should open the door. The ventilation for ventilation. So just like in the dead of a night, if someone picks up a snake, considering it as a rope. Did you get the point? That somebody in the dead of a night, if he is looking looking for some rope, but there is a snake sitting there, and you think that it's a rope, and you pick it up, what will happen? The similarly. Shukdev Goswami is telling that just like a person picks up a snake, thinking it as a rope. И также Шукадева Госвами пишет, что также человек, который берет змею, думая, что это веревка. Similarly, Putana she picked up Krishna, thinking him as an ordinary boy. Точно так же Путана взяла Кришну, думая, что это обыкновенный мальчик. And as soon as she picked up Krishna, she gave, she started feeding Krishna milk. И как только она взяла Кришну на руки, она стала кормить его молоком. And Putana, she applied a very, very, very intense poison called as hala hala on her breasts. И предварительно Путана она как помазала свои груди очень очень сильным ядом, который называется хала. And that and that hala hala poison was that even even if somebody smells it, he will die. Это был такой сильный яд, что человек умер бы только его понюхав. Forget about if somebody touches touches drinks it, then he is sure to die. Не говоря о том, что если человек его там выпьет или как-то как бы съест. The Putana was so cruel; she didn't have any compassion that she was feeding a six day six day old boy this poison. А у Путана не было совсем никакого ни сострадания, ни жалости. Она вот кормила ядом ребенка, которому всего шесть дней от. So she took Krishna in the lap and she started feeding, breastfeeding him. And she said, "Oh my Lala, oh my Lala, drink it, drink it." And in the mind she was telling, "Rascal, rascal, rascal, drink it. Drink it now, you're going to die." 
so <coughs> so when uh, <coughs> uh, so Krishna started drinking you are offering something to Krishna so Krishna will eat it hmm. so Krishna started drinking and <coughs> and when Krishna has a nature you know you have to understand Firstly, Krishna hmm, doesn't give himself to someone. Uh, he doesn't give himself to anyone. Yes. То есть Кришна он себя никому не отдает. Or in other words, <coughs> he's not uh, he's not available to everyone. Другими словами, как бы он ну он доступен не для всех. He's reserved, you know. Он такой сдержанный немного. <coughs> and if he catches someone, поймает, I mean he accepts someone, then he has a tendency that he never leaves. First he never accepts someone. Because if someone he has to accept, then he has to become subordinate to that person. If he accepts a if he accepts devotee as his as his life and soul, then he what what is the result of that? That Krishna is become subordinate to that devotee. Что происходит, если Кришна принимает своего преданного как вот свою жизнь и душу? Он вынужден быть как бы для него младшим. That's why that's why Krishna is not easily available. Именно поэтому Кришна он его трудно как бы к нему подступиться. But when he is available, when he when he agrees, when he accepts you. Но когда он становится доступным, когда он вас принимает, then even though you want to leave him, he will not leave you. Тогда даже если вы сами захотите от него уйти, он вам не позволит. Gopi is, they always used to think that what should I do to forget Krishna? Gopi всегда думали, что же нам делать, чтобы забыть Кришну? They were so absorbed in the thoughts of Krishna all the time that it was very difficult for them to even cook. А настолько копии были погружены в мысли о Кришне 24 часа в сутки, что даже готовить было сложно. The thought of Krishna used to make them mad. Мысли о Кришне просто сумаек сводили. And so they were thinking, what should we do to forget this rascal Krishna? И они думали, ну что же нам сделать, чтобы этого негодяя Кришну забыть? He has made our life hell. Он превратил нашу жизнь в ад. And we are thinking how to remember Krishna. А мы все думаем, как бы его помнить. So. That is the difference between the associate of the Lord and the conditioned soul. И вот в этом различие между обусловленными душами и вечными спутниками Кришны. So, so Putna, she was feeding Krishna the milk. И вот Путна она кормила Кришну грудью. And she was, but gradually, gradually, Krishna started taking out all the, taking out her life. Но постепенно Кришна стал забирать. She was squeezing her breast, and she took away her the life from Putna. And while doing that, he first took away all her powers. And as soon as all the mystic all the mystic power she had was gone, she came back. She came in an original form. И как только все ее мистические способности пропали, она приняла свой изначальный облик. But she flew in the air. И она взлетела в воздух. With Krishna. Вместе с Кришной. So she she was in the air and now she 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 was almost died. И она вот сейчас там как бы в небе, она практически уже умирала. And Krishna wanted to bang her. И Кришна хотел, чтобы она свалилась. Но Кришна was a six day old child. И при этом Кришне было всего шесть дней от рода. How old is he? Как вот сколько лет? Five months. Five months. He means Krishna was six day old child. А вот Кришне было шесть дней всего. So, so Krishna, he was a little, he was like he was getting some milk and he was happy, you know. Кришна он просто как бы пил молоко и был счастлив. He had nothing to do with it. I mean, what is happening? He was like, what's happening? And I'm enjoying my ride. То есть Кришна как велся, как ничего не бывало, что что вообще происходит, у меня все нормально. He got an aeroplane ride. Он, можно сказать, на самолете полетал. So he was happy. Он был счастлив. And he was and because he was Krishna was thinking that I might fall down. И Кришна думал, я могу конечно упасть. So we I I had to hold Putna nicely. 
И mm. поэтому мне нужно крепко держаться за Путана. So Krishna was holding to Putana's breasts. И поэтому Кришна очень крепко держался за грудь Путана. And he was, uh, he was happy. И он был счастлив. Mm. But Putana lost her life. А Путана теряла mm. свою жизнь. Mm. And now Krishna was thinking, if she falls on Gokul, if she falls on because because her body was 12 miles long. И Кришна подумал, а что ж произойдет, если она упадет на Гакулу, потому что ее тело было длиной 12 миль. And so Krishna was thinking, if she fell down Gokul, then it will dis- it will kill so many of my associates. И Кришна подумал, если она упадет на Гакулу, то убьет очень много моих спутников. So near the Gokul and the border of Mathura, there was the uh, big, big, big forest of big garden of Kamsa. И рядом с Гакулой и как бы рядом с Матхурой был огромный сад Камсы. So Krishna landed Putana Airways on uh, at that garden. И поэтому самолет вот Путана Airways он упал на этот сад. The plane crashed there. Там самолет разбился. Putana fell there. Путана там упала. And it destroyed the complete garden of Kamsa. И весь сад был полностью уничтожен. Hmm. And when uh, so while Putana she was uh, she took Krishna away. Hmm, She tried. She, when she when she flew in the air, she made a huge sound. She shouted loudly. Hmm? And she shouted so loudly that so many of the Brajwasis they fell unconscious. <laughs> And now when she banged. И вот когда она упала, they all came back to senses. Because it was, it was an earthquake. Потому что это было землетрясение. Imagine some something very if a mountain falls down. Hmm? Вот представьте, если гора упадет на землю. It will certainly shake things, right? То, конечно же, все затрясется. So it shook. It, it was an earthquake there. То есть там просто землетрясение было. And everybody go, woke up. И все проснулись. And and when they woke, uh, most of them were, most of them were the gopis especially they were. Uh, Always looking for Krishna. They didn't feel un- they didn't feel unconscious. They were always looking for Krishna. And Yashoda, uh, Yashoda fell unconscious because as soon as she, the thought that Krishna was taken away by this uh, uh, this Putna, that, that that mere thought, Yashoda fell unconscious. А еще она была в обмороке, просто когда она только подумала, что Кришну вот забрала эта женщина, она сразу же вот лишилась чувств. And <coughs> Putna, uh, now uh, Krishna was playing with Putna, and she, when Krishna, when the Putnas fell down on the ground, Krishna was as a small baby, unknown of anything. He was simply playing on Putna. И когда вот Кришна, Путана свалилась на землю, Кришна просто там играл на ней, как маленький ребенок. The gopis were looking for Krishna. Where is, where is Krishna? Where is this? Where is this Putana fell down? Where is he? So she, they were looking and they found out that there is Putana and they went running hmm? and they climbed on the top of Putana's body and picked up Krishna. Гопи, они бегали, искали, где же Кришна, где же Путана. Наконец они ее увидели, взобрались на ее тело и забрали оттуда Кришну. <coughs> and in this way they saved Krishna. Таким образом они спасли Кришну. They were thinking they saved Krishna. Они думали, что они его спасли. Now, first thing they did was. Первое, что они сделали. Now we have to understand the mood of Braja. То есть поймите настроение в Раджа. Understand the mood of Braj Mandal. Поймите настроение в Раджа Мандал. In Braj Mandal, Krishna is not God. В Браджа Мандале Кришна не Бог. In Braj Mandal, Krishna is an son of Nanda Maharaj. That's it. Там он просто сын Нанды Махараджа и все. Nothing beyond that. Ничего кроме этого. Hmm. When Krishna used to play with his uh, coward boyfriends. Когда Кришна играл со своими друзьями пастушками. So sometimes uh, what used to happen? There used, there used to be Balram's team and there used to be Krishna's team. Там была команда Кришны, команда Баларамы. And whoever used to get defeat, he they have to take the another team on their back. И та команда, которая проигрывала, должна была на плечах возить другую команду. Hmm. And Once Krishna lost, Krishna's team lost. And they had to take the whole team of Balram on their back and they had to go to a certain distance. Krishna said, I'm not going to do that. I'm son of the king. I'm the son of Nanda Maharaj. And you expect me that I should do this? Then all the boys they had a meeting. А у мальчика там сразу они собрались вместе. And they said that Krishna has become puffed up. Они сказали, Кришна что-то занёсся высоко. Because of the pride. Это гордость у него. Mm-hmm. We should all kick him away. Надо выбить из него эту гордость. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> he thinks himself as a son of Nanda Maharaj. But while playing, we are all the same. I am also the son of Brahmana. Madhu Mangala was saying, I am the son of Brahmana, but I am staying, I am playing with all these Vaishyas. Do I differentiate? Do I differentiate? No, but why Krishna is differentiating? It is good if we kick him away. And they all agreed to kick Krishna away. I said, puff the fellow, just go away. You won't, you, we won't play with you anymore. You be on your own. Nonsense. And then Krishna realized what did he do? What a big mistake he, he committed. So he started crying. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. I'm very, very sorry. Please accept me again. And then Krishna made such a face, you know, by looking at their face, they said, okay, 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 then you have to do the, take the punishment. So Krishna took one of the coward friends on his lap and then he became, he started, he, he started crawling and became the horse for them. So in Brajmandal, so Krishna is not God. So they might, so the, the, the coward boy just saw hmm, that four-headed Brahma is coming and going down to Krishna. Hmm. They saw Indra coming and offering his flat dandavats to Krishna. Still for them, this was normal. They still didn't accept Krishna as the Supreme Lord. And they used to talk about themselves. Is this, why is this four-headed person coming and going to Krishna? Krishna is just like us. What's so special in Krishna? Hmm? Are they mad? This, in this, this person with hundred thousand eyes, Indra, why is he offering his dandavat to Krishna? Even when Krishna was lifting the Govardhan, hmm? They, uh, they were saying to Krishna, Krishna, you are lifting the Govardhan, but your hands will pain. So we want to help you. Because we don't know how many days you will have to hold this. So we will also put our sticks around. So this will help, this will help you. And Krishna said, okay, please do that. Thank you for your help. So they all put their and they were all guarding like this, as if they were holding the Govardhan. But in all the in all the circumstances, they weren't, they didn't accept Krishna as God. For them, Krishna was only the son of Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda. That is the beauty of Brajmandal. And this is what in Brahma is hankering for. Brahma wants to get the dust from the feet of these Brajavasis. When he was offering his prayers, Brahma was saying, what will he give this, what, what fortune they are ha these Brajavasis are having? That you are playing amongst them like an ordinary boy. <coughs> so, Putna, they, they, they uh, Putna died was Putna was died and then they took Krishna, and they wanted to give protection to Krishna now. So first thing they did was they took the cow's tail and they uh, they touched it to the Krishna's whole body. Yes. 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 So cow's tail has an has a has a power to take away all the, all the negative energies from the body. 
Потому что корова сбросила, он может убрать всю негативную энергию с тела. Then they took the dust from the cow and they applied it on Krishna. Потом они взяли пыль от, там, от коровы и тоже помазали Кришну этой пылью. And they, then they took the cow dung. Потом они взяли навоз коровий. And applied a Krishna, the twelve tilakas like we apply. Om Keshavaya Namah Madhava Namah Narayana Madhava They applied Krishna from 12 sides, the tilak. И вот этим навозом они сделали Кришне все 12 тилок, вот как мы их делаем. And then they did Achman. Потом они сделали Achman. And then they chanted a Kavach, which is made of the holy name of the Lord. И они произнесли Кавачу, которая состоит из святых имен Господа. Like just like we have Narayan Kavach and other Kavachas, so they, all the gopis, they applied Kavach of the holy name to Krishna. И вот как у нас есть там Narayana Kavach, другие Kavachи, точно так же они произнесли Kavachu для Кришны. That means Krishna was protected by his own holy name. То есть на самом деле Кришна был защищен своими же именами. This is how powerful Krishna, this is how the holy name is powerful. Вот настолько могущественно святое имя. And when everything was done, когда все это они это сделали, they gave Krishna to Yashoda. Они отдали Кришну Ишоде. And Krishna, because if the child, if the child, this is the secret also. This, if the child is all right, в этом также есть секрет, что если с ребенком все в порядке, how to find out? Как это понять? Because they can't speak, the small babies cannot speak. Потому что они же не могут говорить еще. So if they if they drink the milk of the mother, если они пьют молоко матери, and sleep go to sleep. The peacefully. И мирно засыпают. That means they are fine. Значит, все у них хорошо. So Krishna drank the milk and went to went went back to sleep peacefully. И вот Кришна попил молоко и мирно заснул. Now, Nanda Maharaj, who who left from Mathura, he came he came to Gokul. И вот сейчас вернулся из Матхуры Нанда Махарадж. And as soon as he entered Gokul, и как только он вошел в Gokul, he saw a big gigantic. Body, mountain-like body of a demon, demoness. И вот он увидел это тело демоница, огромное как гора. Initially, he did not understand that this is a dead body. Он сначала не понял, что это мертвое тело. He thought, where have I come? Он подумал, куда же я пришел? I think I have come in a wrong village. Наверное, я не в ту деревню зашел. Then they saw carefully. No, it is, it is Gokul. Но потом огляделся и понял, что нет, это Гакул. Now who is she? Who is this? What is this? What happened? А что же это за тело? Что произошло? And then. Everybody came. All the other coward boys were protected in the Gokul. They came and they told everything to Nanda Maharaj. И пришли все пастухи, которые защищали Гакул. Все рассказали Нанди Махараджу. And they said, "Let us immediately cut this body of this Putna into pieces and let us let us burn her quickly." И они сказали, "Давайте быстро разрушим это тело на куски, сожжем его." Because she is a demon. Потому что она демон. And she is dead. And if the body is kept for a long time, there will be insects there, and there will so many things. And that will that will because so much diseases will will get circulated here. So Brajavasis were cutting Putana's body. And they they cut Krishna's. They didn't touch, but like you eat from the fork and the spoon, they were keeping like this. They were using the sticks. They were they were killing, cutting, cutting it, and they were separating the body and they were burning it separately. Они не затрагивали самого тела, как же так же мы едим там ложкой и вилкой. Они вот палками как бы так вот держали это тело, разрубали и по частям сжигали. And in this way, when Putna's body was burning, и когда тело Путана горело, the smell of aghuru started coming from out from it. The smell of aghuru. Aghuru is what we use in very the what we use in incense, making incense. Aguru is very heavenly scent, you know, like scent. There is an item which gives fragrance. И когда тело Путана горело, от него стало сходить очень хороший запах вот Агуру, то есть как бы один из одно из благовоний священных. So Putin from Putin's body, Aguru smell started coming. То есть от тела Путана стало сходить замечательный запах божественный. And everybody was astonished. How come is that possible? И все были в изумлении. А как это вообще возможно? So now Shukadev Goswami and our Acharyas, they want to. They are glorifying. They are the. They are showing how is how it is happening. And they are telling how it happened. They said Putana was a demon, right? They say that Putana was a demon. But she got delivered. No, she got delivered. And she got a position of a mother in the spiritual world. In the spiritual world, she got a position of a mother. She became a nurse. 
ту мадар Яшода. Она стала помощницей, как бы, кормить, там, няней у, у мамы Яшода. In Golok Vrindavan. На Голоке Вриндаване. Mm. And... <coughs> Why? Почему? Mm. So, the answer is that Putna, <coughs> uh, she came in contact with Krishna. She came in... She, ah. Причина в том, что Путана соприкоснулась с Кришной. Even though she was, she has no, she had no mood of serving uh, out of love. И хотя она служила ему не из любви. But there were two, there were two things which helped Putana got delivered. Но есть две вещи, из-за которых Путана получила освобождение. First, she came to Vrindavan. Первое, она пришла в Вриндаван. Mm. Secondly, she came in a dress of a mother. Второе, она пришла в обличье матери. And and she mother means she she wanted to feed Krishna milk. Мать означает, что она хотела покормить Кришну грудью. And then Krishna thought that you are pretending to be like my mother. Кришна подумал, да, ты притворяешься моей матерью. And you are offering me this milk. И предлагаешь мне это молоко. So you want to you are imitating my mother. То есть ты ведешь себя как моя мать. So let you let me make you my mother. Да, поэтому я сделаю тебя своей матерью. Mm. <coughs> We chant the holy name. Мы повторяем святое имя. And simply we know the, that simply by chan one chanting of the holy name of the Lord, the sins committed in thousands of lifetimes get finished, right? И мы знаем, что произнеся святое имя только один раз, наши тысячи грехов сгорают. That is the glory of the holy name. В этом слава святого имени. So now who, now that same Krishna, whose holy name is that powerful, if that same Krishna was in touch, was was wo wo came in contact with Putna's body, it came in contact with Putna. Where will the sin remain? И посмотрите, если одно только святое имя так могущественно, то насколько же могущественный Кришна, который вот соприкоснулся с Путаной с ее телом? So she she was she was a demon and she used to what 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 was her food? Food. Она была демоном. Чем же она питалась? Her food was she used to eat the flesh of the children. Она ела мясо детей. What was she drinking? А что она пила? She used to drink the blood of the children. Она пила кровь детей. Hmm? What was her association? А с кем она общалась? Агасур, Бакасур, and all these were her association. Агасура, Бакасура и все остальные демоны. But that Putana Но это Путана came to Braj Mandal пришла в Браджа Мандалу with the intention of killing Krishna с намерением убить Кришну. But she was pretending to become a mother and she was feeding milk to Krishna. That too not milk but poison. But Krishna accepted that, that thing and she said okay out of my causeless mercy I, I accept you as my mother and that's why Krishna gave her a position of a mother in Golok Vrindavan. Но Кришна принял это и после как он сказал, что как по своей беспричинной милости я принимаю тебя как свою мать, и поэтому он сделал ее своей матери на Голоке Вриндавана. So Shukadev Goswami saying, Shukadev Goswami говорит, that if Putra can get delivered, что если даже Путра нас получила освобождение, then what can can be said of those devotees who are chanting every day sixteen rounds, who have dedicated their lives to Krishna, so is there any doubt in those in their deliverance? А что если даже спутано такое произошло? Так что же говорить о преданных, которые каждый день по 16 кругов махаманты повторяют, которые всю жизнь Кришне посвятили? То есть их освобождение более чем гарантировано. If Krishna can deliver Putna, then the devotees, the, the all of us who have dedicated our lives to Krishna, who has given by, by their life and soul they are serving Krishna, is there, there any doubt that we we will not get delivered? То есть, даже Путана получила освобождение, то мы, как преданные, разве может быть какие-то сомнения, что мы получим освобождение? So this Krishna has performed this past times, so that his devotees can develop unflinching faith, hmm? that now they are, you are in contact with me, so you are, I will deliver you for sure. И эта игра Кришна, она показывает преданным, что если вы соприкоснетесь со мной, то вы обязательно будете освобождены. Devotees should get, devotees get encouragement by this past times of Krishna delivering Putana. Эта игра, она дает преданным вдохновение и, кроме того, очень твердую веру в то, что Кришна их спасет. Mm -hmm. Devotees should develop faith that yes, if Putana can get delivered, then even we, can, we will be delivered for sure. У преданных должна возникнуть сильная вера в то, что если Кришна даже путь нас освободил, то нас тоже точно освободит. With that faith and conviction, one should practice Krishna consciousness. И вот мы должны заниматься сознанием Кришны, нашим служением, вот с такой верой, с таким вдохновением. And one will perfect their life. 
И таким образом достигнем совершенства в жизни. Thank you very much. Спасибо большое. Рай Кришна. Any questions? Вопросы? Джабаси, они не видели Кришне Верховную Личность, но Дурьодана тоже не видел. Вот в чем невидение Дурьодана отличается от невидения Джабаси? Вот Джабаси не видел Кришна как Верховный Личный Лорд, но Дурьодана тоже не видел Кришна как Верховный Лорд. Что разница между этим, не видеть Кришну как Верховный Лорд, между Джабаси и Дурьодана? Браджаси – And having pure love for Krishna. У Бриджабаси есть чистая любовь к Кришне. And out of that love, that Aishwarya or the opulence of Krishna was shrunken, and only Krishna's love, Krishna's loving relationship between them was always manifested. Из этой любви вот эта Aishwarya, могущество Кришна, оно как бы уменьшается, сжимается, и остается только любовные отношения между ними и Кришной. Although, although sometimes Krishna's Aishwarya opulence used to get manifested when he used to kill uh, uh, so many demons and uh, so especially when Krishna showed the universal form to his mother in the mouth, at that time his opulence was manifested. Иногда вот это могущество Ашвари Кришна проявляется. Например, он убивает различных демонов, а также он показал своей матери всю вселенную у себя во рту. But then Krishna's another other energy, Yoga Maya, she covered it up immediately. Но тогда сразу же Yoga Maya закрывает это. Because this will disturb the mood of Rajmandal. Потому что оно нарушит настроение в Раджамандале. Because Krishna wants to be an ordinary boy in Rajmandal. Потому что в Раджамандале Кришна хочет быть обыкновенным мальчиком. So that he can experience pure love. И тогда он может чувствовать эту чистую любовь. With Duryodhan, with Duryodhan, there was a problem. А вот с Duryodhan и проблема. The problem was that Janami Dharmam, Janami Dharmam, Duryodhan once once Krishna came as a peace messenger. Однажды Кришна пришел как посланник мира. And he was saying to Duryodhan, he came to convince Duryodhan to give Indra Prastha to Yudhishthira Maharaj. И он пришел к Дурьодхане, чтобы убедить его отдать Индра Прастху и Душтири Махараджи. So Krishna was requesting Дурьодхан. He was he was also requesting Дуритарашта Махарадж. И он так, то есть Кришна он просил у Дурьодхана и у Дуритарашты. And that time Дурьодхан said something. И в то время Дурьодхан кое что сказал. He said, "Janami dharmam na chame pravritti." He said, "I know Krishna what is dharma, but I am not inclined towards following that." Дурьодхан сказал Кришне, что я знаю, что такое дхарма, но я не собираюсь ей сейчас следовать. Джанами адхармам на чаме не вритти. I know what is adharma, but I know I am I am doing adharma, but somehow I cannot resist myself from doing that. Он то есть он сказал, что я знаю, что такое адхарма, я знаю, что сейчас я поступаю неправильно, но ничего не могу с этим поделать. Кришна asked why. А Кришна спросил почему. He's saying somebody is like everybody has Paramatma in his heart, I also have Paramatma in my heart. He is not allowing me to follow the path of Dharma. Because Krishna wanted war. And by using the Kauravas, Krishna wanted to annihilate all the irreligious people in one go. Пользуясь кауравами, Кришна хотел уничтожить всех как батистов. So in that Mahabharat war, all the irreligious people, all the people who were on the path of Adharma, they all came on one side of Duryodhan. И вот в этой войне все, все атеисты, все как бы демонические люди собрались на стороне кауравов. And Krishna killed them. И Кришна их убил всех. So, so problem with Duryodhan was that he was playing a role. То есть Duryodhan он играл свою роль. Of an whatever whatever Krishna wanted him to do, he was just simply playing that. То есть он просто делал то, что хотел Кришна. And also he had no love for Krishna. И также у него не было любви к Кришне. Used to hate Krishna. Он ненавидел Кришну. So one might say Putana also used to hate Krishna. Вот и Путана тоже ненавидела Кришну. So one so answer is that the mercy on Putana was causeless mercy. То есть ответ в том, что милость, проявленная к Путане, была беспричинной. Because of these two reasons. Вот по тем двум, которые мы назвали. That she came disguised as a mother. 
Первое то, что она пришла в облике матери. She came to Braj Mandal. Она пришла в Braj Mandal. And she made an attempt to serve Krishna by feeding the milk. И у нее она как попыталась послужить Кришне, покормив его. That's why Krishna accepted the seva. Поэтому Кришна принял эту севу. Any other question? Oh yes, please. Я когда раньше читал Кришна Бог, и когда попадались эпизоды про тысячи и тысячи коров, про реки молока, это было ну, просто цифры. When I was reading Krishna book, I read the, the scenes where it was depicted uh, the thousands and thousands of cows and rivers of milk. And I thought it's just uh, some numbers. And now we are living on the farm and we have a lot of uh, milking cows. And now I have a question, how in that times they, they managed to, to milk all that cows? And what did they do with that, uh, that en enormous amount of milk? <laughs> so they used to they used to distribute the milk. Они раздавали молоко. To nearby cities they used to sell, they used to sell it. А в близлежащие города они продавали молоко в города. That is, uh, it was a Nanda Baba was a Vaishya community. Uh, это же было торговое сообщество. And Vaishya community they were Krishi Goraksha Vanijay. It is their responsibility to f uh, feed everybody uh, with uh, milk. Не обязан свайшев это как бы давать всем молоко. So all the Kshatriyas and all the people staying in the Mathura city, they used to get milk from this coward man. And Nand Baba and the coward man were not 200 or 300. Nand Baba and his coward men, the coward men were not 200 or 300 people. The coward boys of Krishna were not 50 or 100 boys. The they were unlimited. <laughs> unlimited number of coward boys. Unlimited gopis. In Brahma, if he starts counting, it will be difficult for Brahma to count. Hmm. But the beauty of Krishna was that uh, they all experienced that Krishna was with them. The, the boys used to have a competition between them. So Krishna used to be at a distance place. And they used to say to each other, let's see who will catch Krishna first. So they all used to run. And when they used to reach Krishna, everybody felt that they caught Krishna first. Because Krishna expanded himself into so many and then everybody thought that Krishna, they caught Krishna first. And <clears throat> Whenever Krishna used to eat food, like this sitting in, you have seen the picture, Krishna sitting in the middle and everybody was sitting, circling him. Everybody was looking at Krishna. And everybody was feeding Krishna. Hmm? So, everybody was thinking that Krishna is reciprocating with me and Krishna is eating my food. So Krishna was reciprocating with everyone. То есть Кришна отвечал всем. That is the omnipotence of the Lord. Вот таково невероятное могущество Господа. So there are thousands and lakhs and so many uh, people were there in Brajmandal. Поэтому в Брадзамандале было сто тысяч и сотни тысяч людей. Like there are unlimited number of gopis in Krishna's past time. И в играх Кришна участвует бесконечное количество гопи. Out of which sixteen thousand one hundred eight are Counted, I mean, they, they counted 16,108. 16,108. Hmm. And out of them, 108 were prominent. After the, out of 16,108, 
108 were prominent. And out of 108, there were 8 gopis who were very, very dear. And out of, out of that 8, there were 2 very prominent. And out of 1 was the most dearest to Krishna. Mahabhav Shurupa Srimati Radharani. So there are unlimited number of cows, unlimited number of coward boys, unlimited number of coward men, unlimited number of coward women. So unlimited amount of milk was coming and it was distributed. На примере обычных отношений нам понятно, что нейтральные отношения, они не такие интенсивные, как, например, близкие, русские друг. Почему мудрецы, понимая это, оставались некоторые в Шантарасе и не стремились к Махуре? Uh, relationship in marriage or in friendship. So why some sages they still stayed in this Shantaras and, and didn't intend to go to Matkuri Ras or some other Rasas? So just like uh, someone get happy someone get happiness in being uh, in Madhuri Ras, somebody gets happiness in being in Sakya Ras. Hmm? So the Sakhiras devotees, they don't think, oh, Madhuriras is the topmost, so why don't I become go in Madhuriras? Hmm? They are satisfied with what uh, they are getting from Krishna, the Sakhiras. So it's like that. They they are satisfied in their own uh, rasa. They are satisfied. Точно так же, как, например, есть Матхуля раса, есть Сакхи раса, и вот те, которые находятся в дружеской расе, они не думают, что, о, там, Матхуля раса самая высшая, надо ее как-то туда нужно перейти. Нет, они полностью удовлетворены своими отношениями. Точно так же Шанта раса происходит. So these rasas are complete. То есть каждая раса, она как бы завершенная. Yeah. All these rasas are complete in itself. Каждая раса самодостаточна. Сакхи раса, Патсаля раса, Мадхури раса, they are complete in itself. And, and devotees who are in that particular ras, they feel complete, they get complete satisfaction. It is not that somebody is higher or somebody is lower. We can't say that uh, in, in uh, that Ra Krishna's, uh, Radharani's love for Krishna is more than, than Yashoda's love for Krishna. We can't say that. Каждая из этих рас, она является самодостаточной. Вы не можем сказать, что любовь Радхарани, она больше, чем любовь Ишоды Кришны. In intimacy, the things are different. Да, близость, она разная в этих расах. Certainly, the role of a mother is different than a role of a wife. Да, роль жены отличается от роли матери. But they both love the person equally, right? Но они обе одинаково любят человека. Our relationship with our mother is different and our relationship with our wife is different. Наши отношения с женой и с матерью, они разные. But we can't say that our mother's love is less and our wife's love is more. Но мы не можем сказать, что любовь нашей матери меньше, а любовь жены больше. So there is a Shantaras also. Вот точно так же Шантарасы происходят. Since the devotees in the Shantaras, they are satisfied with whatever they are getting. Преданные в Шантарасе, они удовлетворены тем, что они имеют. It is, they are complete, they are satisfied. Они полностью удовлетворены. Anything else? Может быть, еще вопросы? Каждый демон в этих играх он означает какую-то анархию человеческую. Какая анархия присуща вот этой демонице куда? Uh, each demon uh, symbolizes some anartha in this lilas. And what anartha symbolized by Putana? And how, how to um, fight with this anartha? Putana means false guru. Uh, fo fo false. Uh, Putana означает ложный гуру. False guru means Putana. Hmm? So, <coughs> we have to be very careful in taking shelter of a spiritual master. The spiritual master should be fixed up in uh, he should be fixed up in the lotus feet of the Lord. So Hari Bhakti Vilas it says it says that one is allowed to test the spiritual master before initiation. 
И даже в Харе Бхактивиласе написано, что каждый имеет право проверять духовного учителя перед инициатором. One year, if they want, they can test their spiritual master. В течение одного года мы можем проверять духовного учителя. And the spiritual master also can test them. А духовный учитель может проверять ученика. And that is a time one has to, as uh, that is a time when uh, after reading from scriptures and after finding out what are the qualities of a pure devotee, he can see if those qualities are there in him. И преданный он читает Писание, он читает о, о качествах чистого преданного и смотрит, есть ли эти качества духовного учения. For that one has to read scriptures. А, то есть должен соответствовать Писанию. Very deeply. Очень глубоко. глубоко. Then, he will, then, he, then he will find out that oh this, so then he can see and he can ask questions to the spiritual master. И когда ученик очень хорошо глубоко знает Писание, он может задавать надлежащие вопросы духовному учению. Whom he wants to accept. If you... Whom? Uh, and he should see if he is speaking in line with the Shastra. Is he following what is he preaching? When everything is there, then you can accept him. That is how to avoid a false guru. Putana means false guru. Because Putana pretended to be a Brajavasi. Putana was not a Brajavasi. But she pretended to be a Brajavasi. So there are people who are conditioned living entity. But they might pose themselves as pure devotees. That is what this deliverance of uh, this Putana represents, false guru. So this is a lesson for us that the disciples should be very careful in selecting a spiritual master. So this is everything has to be done before. Once you accepted the spiritual master, you have to then then the disciple is not allowed to do anything. Then he should have unflinching faith. Yes, uh, мы живем на ферме, у нас здесь 100 коров, почти 15 лет. We live on the farm, we have about 100 cows and 15 devotees. Wow. Ежедневно мы, у нас есть Шимат Бхагаватам. Every day we read Шимат Бхагаватам. Wow. 45 минут. For 45 minutes. И... Много служения с огородом, с выращиванием овощей и с коровой. We have so many services with the cows, with our gardens. Иногда не хватает времени, времени на чтение книг, говорят, что нужно, и ты чувствуешь, что хотя бы час-два нужно почитать книги. And we often lack time for reading scriptures, though we know that we have to read about for an hour or two. Но жизнь на земле, она подразумевает, что всегда что-то то засохло, что нужно кормить, доить, перерабатывать много продуктов. И просыпается небольшое неудовлетворение, что ты не можешь позволить себе читать книги много. Иногда есть время 15-20 минут поймать немножко погрузиться в чтение. Sometimes we have like 15 or 12 minutes for reading. Как вот здесь вот найти середину? Нужно увеличивать, находить время на чтение книг, но нужно тогда уменьшать служение. То есть иногда у преданных есть неудовлетворение, что мало книг читаем. Также Шрива Прабхупада говорит, что And so, how, how to find this balance? Maybe to, to do less service or to read more? And И Шрива Прабхупада говорит, мы должны жить на земле, уезжать в деревни, чтобы больше заниматься духовной практикой. И вот как здесь понять, то есть, mm -hmm. как это все совместить? And Шрива Прабхупада wrote that we have to live on on farms and to, to do devotional service, but, but how to understand practically how to do it. Вопрос, есть, 
And the second question is how... Let's go step by step. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, your first question. <coughs> if you don't discuss Bhagavatam, which is the most important activity in this age of Kali, only by taking shelter of Bhagavatam, one will be freed one will be freed from all kinds of contaminations in the heart. When we chant, while chanting, we are chanting Krishna's name, but we don't think about Krishna. Something else is always going on in our mind. Hmm. When we are doing every activity, devotional activity, we have some theoretical understanding that we are doing it for Krishna, it is a service, but the mood of service is not coming. We are dealing with devotees, but our relationship with them is not like it should be. We have such we have such contaminations because of we see that devotee also as an ordinary person. And gradually our dealing becomes ordinary dealings. Like uh, karmis will deal, deal with the other, other outside. So we are also like this. We this is this this is because. We don't take shelter of Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm. If we are not nourished properly, if we are not nourished in Krishna consciousness properly, all our services become, will become dry. It is very important that we take shelter of Srimad Bhagavatam. It is very important that the whole community sits together and not just reads but also discusses Srimad Bhagavatam. <coughs> and more focus will be that everybody gets an ample amount of time in reading. More focus will be there on that everybody gets a good amount of time for reading. So you prioritize your time, you make some timetable, prioritize your life. Otherwise, gradually, gradually everything, everything will become dry. And gradually, if now we have 15 devotees, then we have gradually, gradually 4 devotees will become then. If we are not nourished properly, and all our activities, devotional activities, hmm, will be dry. Hmm. But when we are hearing Bhagavatam, we are hearing the lives of the great personalities like Prahlad Maharaj, Dhru Maharaj, Pandavas, always. That will, so that will be always in our minds. The past tense which are mentioned Chaitanya Charitamrit. They are always, they will, they will be always in our minds. We will be nourished, our soul will be nourished. Our body get nourished by food. And our soul get nourished by Bhagavatam. Hmm? So we have to give topmost priority to Bhagavatam. Amongst all the services which we do, nine, there are nine kinds of devotional service, right? So which, which are the topmost? Hearing, Shravanam. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Archanam, Mandanam, Dasyam, Sakhyam, Atmanindanam. These are the nine kinds of devotional service. So all our activities are categorized under these nine things. But the first, first thing is Shravanam. And then everything follows. Hmm. Second thing is Kirtanam. And the acharyas for these two are Shukadeva Goswami and Maharaj Parikshit. If we simply hear nicely and speak about nicely amongst, amongst each other, that will perfect the life. Maharaj Parikshit simply heard 
Bhagavatam from Shukadeva Goswami. Maharaja Parikshtam просто слушал Bhagavatam от Shukadeva Goswami. Day in and day out for seven days. Все семь дней. Seven days, six nights and seven days he heard Shumad Bhagavatam. Шесть ночей и семь дней он слушал Шимад Бхагаватам. And he perfected his life. И достиг совершенства. Simply by hearing Bhagavatam. Просто слушая Бхагаватам. So, the everything has been done so that we can we are in this community for what purpose so that we can sit together and discuss Krishna Katha. If that is not the priority, then what is the use of this community? The life is the same, like in cities, here is the same thing. Here we are in a little bit of Sattva Guna, but that is useless. Но тогда она бесполезна. If it is not utilized for discussing Krishna Katha. Если она не используется для Кришна Катхи. So all the activities, all the activities should be centered around Krishna Katha. То есть вся деятельность должна строиться вокруг Кришна Катхи. All the activities should be centered around Bhagavat Katha. А вся деятельность должна строиться вокруг Бхагавата Катхи. Then only the community will be a success. Вот тогда у сообщества будет успех. Otherwise, life in the cities and life in the community is the same then. Иначе это все равно, что жизнь в городе. Hare Krishna. Okay. Ну, второй вопрос, как более продуктивно, это 45 минут нашли на пару, какую-то сеточку, как последовательно. И First thing, we should have morning and evening classes, both classes. There should be classes both the times. Uh, on Bhagavatam. Yes, Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrit. Uh, mm. And uh, there should be two or three devotees who should be regularly speaking. And there, and there, for them, their focus will be only reading nicely mm, scriptures and speaking in the community. That should, be, that should be their main seva. Main seva. Их главным служением как раз должно быть читать Писание и давать лекции по ним в этом сообществе. They can do other seva, but their main seva should be only to hear, read Bhagavatam scriptures nicely and speak in the community. Они могут иметь и другие служения тоже, но это должно быть просто и главным служением. Читать и передавать это знание. And they should see that others, everybody follows the, does does reading of Bhagavatam every day. So they should be made responsible. In Varnashram system, this was the duty of the Brahmanas. The Brahmanas duty was to, uh, to, to guide the Kshatriyas, the Vaishyas, everyone hmm, in the science of Krishna consciousness. Обязанность Брахмана в том обществе была направлять всех их шатриев и ваши и шуды в сознании Кришны. So that the Kshatriyas can can follow the Kshatriya Dharma as per the injunctions of the mentioned in the Vedic literatures. И вот тогда шатри могут следовать своей дхарме, которая писана в Ведическом Писании. Vaishyas can follow their their things by by listening to the scriptures. Слушая Писание, также и ваши могут хорошо исполнять свои обязанности. So there shall be this brahmana should be there in the society, in, in, the in the community, where their, where their uh, goal should be to nourish the community by giving proper Krishna Katha.